Hey guys, this is Gatorwind, and today I'm teaching you how to make a security combination lock for your chests. Um, this has a combination lock, obviously, and it just locks your chest so you can't open them, like this. Now, I got the uh, chest lock thingy from a video that I will link in the description, but it not did not have a tutorial for uh, the combination lock, so I had to figure that all out all by myself, so... Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I worked really hard on finding it out. Like, I'm horrible at redstone, so finding it out was a pain in the neck. So, um, I really hope this helps you out. Um, yeah, so here comes a little de uh, demonstration, and then we'll get on to the tutorial. So, as you can see, the chests are not opening, and you have to have a combination lock. Uh, you know, the key. And this is the key for this one that I made. And when you have the levers in the right position, you click the button. And the chests open. See? And to lock it back up, you press the button again. And flip the levers. And they're locked. Now behind the scenes, uh, I will give you a little walkthrough. These redstone torches are behind the levers that uh, trigger it all. When these all go off, this one comes on, triggering that redstone torch off. When you press the button over here, it makes this redstone torch go off as well. When both, oops, when both of the torches are off, it triggers this torch on, triggering this torch off, triggering this redstone dust line off as well. When the redstone dust line is turned off, these, this torch right there and this torch right here are activated. When those torches are activated, the pistons move, uh, pushing these pattern of blocks around. Uh, the pattern is uh, solid block, glass, solid block, glass. When the glass is over the chests, it means that they are able to be opened. The reason they are being able to open even with this kind of block right here is because this isn't a cobblestone block, this is a staircase block. When you have staircases over chests, chests are still able to open and that is why uh, when you have glass uh, you are able to open the chests. So that is the demonstration. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, yeah! Alright guys, we're starting on a fresh piece of land. There isn't really anything around us except behind us. And as you can see, oops, didn't mean to press that. We, I have already uh, laid out four double chests, so you need eight chests. I find that these dimensions work the best. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put cobblestone in between, just like so. And let me see really quickly. Uh, I just need to do something. You need some cobblestone here, and you need one on this side as well. So now what we're going to do is now that we have this, we're going to get our uh, cobblestone steps, and we're going to come behind and place them like so. As you can see, the chest still open. And that is what we want, and we're going to add cobblestone there as well. And now we need to get our pistons out. And our pistons, this one over here, when you have a double over here, you want it to go one away from this chest. And over here, we want the piston to be exactly diagonal from the block, like so. So it should have something that looks like this. And now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, come up here. Actually, before we do this, we're going to uh, do our little pattern here with glass and cobblestone. And what we do over here is the one that's going to be pushed out, we want cobblestone. And then glass, cobblestone, glass, cobblestone, glass, cobblestone. So this is the locked pattern because now, um, oops, we can't open it because we have a solid block over it. Get my uh, pickaxe. Break that. Alright, so now we have this. 
and we're going to get up here and we're going to put a ledge across it like so and not over the piston and we're gonna get redstone torch put it over that and I put it on the wrong side first well I guess it doesn't matter and put one right there so now you have something that looks like this and they are unlocked so now what we want to do is we want to make a little staircase and we're going to put some uh, redstone on top all the way like that so that is the basics um, this is what you do if you don't want a combination lock you bring it over here make a separate little wall bring this over here like this uh, we actually need it over one more sorry put it up and what you do with this you get a button and you put the button right up there and it didn't seem to work I don't know why oh I need a repeater Doo -doo. see and now they should be locked and we press it again unlocked so that is the basics without the combination lock and I'm going to break this because that is not what we are trying to do we're trying to do it with a combination lock so break this down that is not what we're doing at this exact moment okay now from the pistons we are building out eight blocks so that's one two three four five six seven eight and do this up like that and from here uh, we are going to put a lever here, 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 and here. That is five blocks. Hold on. My phone is ringing. Excuse me. Now what we're going to do is we are going to figure out what combination we want. And to do that, we need to put the levers down. So wherever you put the platform is where you're putting your levers. So two away from the wall is what we did. So let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So now we determine what we want our combination to be. And I keep messing up. And let's just do the three middle ones to be easy. And wherever you did your combination is where you're putting your uh, redstone torches. And you want them to go off. That is what you want them to do. And you put redstone wherever else you uh, don't have a torch and now what we do is we put a redstone torch right there one away from the left and redstone dust right there and now we are going to make an AND gate and we put one here one here and one here and one there so it should look like this and uh now let me think what I need to do <laughs> alright now what we want to do is we're going to put a redstone right there and get a building block put it there with a redstone torch here and now we want redstone on top of this as well and now what we want is we put redstone here and we carry it all the way over to um, this over here and now our connections are complete and oh wait no we have one more thing to do just one more thing we bring this over to the button so we need a rest down here and we need a button so let's put that there and now that we press our button it should work and we heard the pistons and it should be locked apparently and we're gonna press it again and they should be opened and they are so we can hide diamonds uh, 
treasure, whatever the heck you want in your special cases that are now locked. So remember we press the button again to lock it and we flip up the switches and it won't work anymore. And they're locked. So uh, thank you guys for watching. That is how you make it. I hope this tutorial wasn't too confusing uh, for you. But uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you implement this into your world or your SMP server. Um, it's a great way to protect your items. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.